Hello, everyone, and welcome to Financial Accounting. Today, we continue studying plant assets and we'll discuss the disposal of plant assets. When a plant asset is disposed of, the first thing we need to do is to update depreciation to the date of disposal. After completing the update, the journal entry can be created. The journal entry begins by recording a debit to cash account if cash was received or credit to the cash account if cash was paid by the company. Remember that cash is an asset account and is increased by debit and decreased by credit. Second, it must be determined whether a gain or loss is associated with this disposal. A gain is recorded with a credit, just like revenue, and the loss is recorded with a debit, just like an expense account. Third, we need to remove the plant assets cost from the books with a credit and remove the related accumulated depreciation with a debit. Let's see how to calculate the gain or loss associated with the disposal. If the amount of cash received is greater than the book value of the asset, a gain is associated with the disposal. Remember that book value is equal to the asset's cost less accumulated depreciation. If the cash received is less than the book value of the asset, a loss will be recorded. When the amount of cash is exactly equal to the book value of the asset, there will be no gain or loss in connection with the disposal. Now let's look at the specific example of the disposal of a plant asset. Assume that the machine costing 10,000 had accumulated depreciation of 8,000 and the book value of 2,000, which is 10,000 minus 8,000. It was sold for 3,000 cash. Determine the gain or loss on sale of this machine. Remember that to determine gain or loss on disposal of an asset, we need to compare the asset's book value to the proceeds from the disposal. In our case, the cash received was more than the book value of the asset. So we have a gain on the sale of this machine of 1,000. Now let's look at the entry to record the sale of the asset. To record the disposal of the machine, we debit cash for 3,000, debit accumulated depreciation on the machine for 8,000, and credit to gain on disposal of plant asset for 1,000, and the credit to machinery for 10,000. Whenever we dispose of a depreciable asset, the entry to record the disposal will always have a debit to accumulated depreciation and the credit to the asset. Let's look at the next example. Essex company exchanges a used earth mover and 35,000 cash for a new earth mover. The old earth mover given up has a historical cost of $40,000, accumulated depreciation to the date of exchange of $30,000, and a fair value of $4,000. The first thing we need to determine is whether a gain or loss will result. Because there were no cash proceeds from the disposal of this equipment, we determine the gain or loss by comparing the asset's book value to its fair market value. In our case, the earth mover has a book value of 10,000 and a fair market value of 4,000. Because fair market value is lower than book value, we have a 6,000 loss on the disposal of this old earth moving equipment. Now let's look at the entry to record the disposal. Begin by recording the parts of the journal entry that are known. The old earth mover is being given up, so we debit accumulated depreciation for 30,000 and credit the old equipment account for 40,000. Next, we credit cash for 35,000 because it is being given up 
in the exchange and with debit loss on disposal of asset for 6,000. Now just debit the new equipment account for 39,000. This 39,000 represents the fair value of the asset given up in the exchange. Cash of 35,000 plus the fair market value of the old earth mover of 4,000. Let's look at another trading example, this time when a trade-in results in a gain. Remember that in most instances, a trade-in is viewed as both a sale of the old asset and the purchase of a new one. Transactions of this type are usually considered to have commercial substance and gain or loss is recognized. Assume that Rancher Landscape exchanges their old truck for a new truck costing 25,000. They received a 3,500 trading allowance on the old truck, which had a book value of $2,000. Rancher pays the remaining 21,500 cost of a new truck in cash. The book value of the old truck is $2,000, which is the cost of 10,000 less 8,000 accumulated depreciation. Rancho Landscape has treated the 3,500 trade-in allowance granted by the track dealership as the sales price of the old truck, which is the fair market value. Since the fair market value is higher than the book value, Rancho recognizes a $1,500 gain on the disposal of this asset. It is calculated as 3,500 trade-in allowance minus 2,000 book value equals to 1,500 gain. The journal entry is recorded as follows. First, we remove the old truck from the books. To do so, we debit accumulated depreciation of 8,000 and credit the vehicle account for 10,000. The acquisition of a new vehicle is recorded by debiting the vehicle account for 25,000. Since cash was paid, cash is credited 21,500. Finally, the gain on disposal of an asset is credited by 1,500. Always make sure that total debits are equal to total credits. In this transaction, total debits are 33,000 and total credits are also 33,000. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the next video, we're going to talk about intangible assets. I will see you soon.